we have well that's what we don't want I always forget to test my pen before I start a new series a new video okay so let's get started here and we're multiplying polynomials but what we're focused really right now is dealing with these exponents when do we add when do we multiply exponents that's what we're trying to uh, we're trying to get out of the way so we have 2x squared raised to the third power times 4x Time, times 4x times y squared raised to the third power. I'll eventually get it out. So what I'm going to do on the first one here on the left is we're going to break that up. So we have 2 to the third power times x, squ or x squared times. You're going to multiply both those exponents. gives you a 6. All right. Times... 4 to the third power times x to the third power. Remember, x has a 1 up here. Um, and you multiply that 1 times the 3, and that gives you 3 times y squared. But it's raised to the third power, so that's 2 times 3 is 6. All right, now we collect up all our like terms. So we can multiply 2 to the third times 4 to the third. And what you should get is five hundred and twelve. We have x to the sixth times y to the third times y to the sixth power. So in these two terms here. This is really x to the 6 plus 3, which becomes x to the 9th. And we'll just continue to write it here. I should have written it an equal sign, continuing this down. All right, simple enough. Let's move on to another one here. We have 8x squared times 3x minus 1. Okay, so in this one, we're going to distribute this 8x across each one of these terms inside the parentheses. So we're going to write an equal sign. We have 8x squared times 3x, so that's going to be 24. 8 times 3 is 24 times x um, to the third, right? Because it's 2 plus 1 is 3 minus 8x squared. And so we'll just leave it at that. Okay, pretty simple. All right. See you there.